Welcome to my key pointers for effective teaching practices for the new primary school teacher. Everyone wants to be an effective teacher to help students to be their best. So here are some tips to help you on your journey. Ormrod describes learning as a long-term change in mental representations as a result of experience. There are multiple learning theories which are important to understand for primary teachers, along with their implications for both teaching and learning in the classroom. Let's have a look at some of these now. Behaviourism looks at the relationship between stimulus and responses, focusing on the importance of reinforcement of behaviours. Pritchard describes this type of learning as practice makes perfect or the parrot approach. Cognitivism looks at how people think and process information in their memories. Within this theory, students become more active in their own learning by making knowledge more meaningful to their own past experiences. According to Pritchard, in constructivism, Individuals draw on their own experiences of the world around them and work to make sense of what they perceive in order to build their own understanding. All these theories can be used in today's classroom. Learning a new language is a great example of a skill and drill activity where students learn through repetition of words in a rote manner. Mind maps can be used by students to brainstorm ideas around a topic and demonstrate students being proactive in their thinking and learning. Discussions with children to include existing knowledge and experiences of a topic and having children explain tasks allows for the development of their understanding. But what's, what does all this mean? What's the best approach? Let's start by looking at the whole child, which will help us to tie everything together. When looking at the whole child, you are working with all internal and external factors that make up and influence the child. This can be categorised into four categories. Schools are subject to multiple pieces of legislation and policies, such as mandatory reporting and NAPLAN, which influence teaching styles, assessments and the interpretation of the Australian curriculum. Australian communities are made up of a variety of cultural backgrounds, socio-economic differences, geographical variations and community influences, all of which impact on children in different ways. How will you set up your classroom? What seating arrangements will you have? Will you display student work around the room? And what's your attitude towards the whole thing? All of these perceptions and views will impact on how you actually teach in the classroom. Children are individuals and have internal differences as well, whether it be their health, personality, learning ability, attitudes from home life, the list is just endless. All of these may impact on the student in their daily lives, either in a positive or a negative way. Therefore, it is paramount that you get to know your students and their families to ensure these factors are considered in the classroom. Ah! <laughs> Don't stress. Holistic education, or as Hyde describes, inclusive education, ensures that everything discussed today is considered by teachers when working with children. All aspects of a child's life are considered in line with the child's learning ability, learning style and the types of teaching theories to deliver effective education for learning. So we can now answer the question of what does all of this mean? And the answer is everything. All learning theories have a place in today's classroom. However, a combination of all theories and assessments is recommended in collaboration with the knowledge you have about each student to ensure you reach all learning styles and all abilities in your classroom. That is effective teaching. Check out these great examples of holistic learning. Walk states that as an educator, we have a responsibility to educate and inspire the whole child, mind, heart and soul. What does this mean for the future classroom? Will more individual aspects need to be considered or will there be new learning theories developed? Only time will tell. However, what won't change is the importance of knowing your students, their learning styles and the influences in their lives and how you, as the primary school teacher, work with that knowledge to effectively educate the whole child. Good luck with it. Created using Powtoon.